Hey guys, Parfax here, and today we've got a couple things to talk about. All right, let's get started. All right, so today we're going to be talking about two specific things. One, which I'm sure you guys have heard, is that New World is creating new servers. Now, I know they needed to do this, and I'm going to push back on it just a little bit, but let's talk about these servers, and let's talk about what my thoughts are before we move on to a second and really exciting topic. So we will read the little opening phrase here, and it says due to the increase, uh, sorry, due to increasing live server population and in anticipation of our Brimstone Stands release, we are preparing to open additional worlds to accommodate the influx of new and returning players. Below, you will find our rollout plan as well as an FAQ for any questions you may have. And then it goes on to state which servers we have one in Central Europe, one in South America, and one in US East. They also go on to talk about, and we can go down here to the FAQ section, and it says, um, are these completely new servers? Yes. And then it says, can I transfer to these servers? And it says, yes, you can. But they are going to, as you can see here, they are not going to provide transfer tokens. Now, this is actually the thing that I want to touch on. And it's the reason why I'm not super excited for this is because it's really hard to get an entire guild to actually swap servers. So I would have actually much preferred them starting a fresh start server with no transfers into it to kind of start building a little bit more of a player base on those servers. Now, you know, it, this is better than nothing for sure, adding three servers, but it's gonna be really hard to get people to those servers because why would you ever swap off of the server that you're on and go to that one? Maybe if you have some guilds that aren't as well competitive, but you run the risk of having to swap off it or get it merged anyway, and getting merged isn't that bad, but you're going to a server with no trading post, towns aren't upgraded you're going to have quite a period of time before you can even do your daily cooldowns so maybe if they come out and everything is tier five then that might not be bad but i don't know i, I would much prefer to see fresh start servers versus this because this uh, to me doesn't really solve the issue because it's going to be hard for people to go over there especially full guilds and people want to play an MMO with their guild. So I'm happy they are taking steps. They did up the server population to 2200. And I believe every server now is at least 2200, especially on East. They did bump them up. But this is a step in the right direction. But I don't think this is the correct step. I think this could actually, again, bring more negative press than positive. But we will see. I hope everything works out great. And uh, as started, I believe it is on the September 8th. Yes, it's tomorrow. And I am recording this after midnight. Uh, so we will be getting more servers. Now, uh, now that we're done talking about the server situation, which I put a video up a couple days ago, I actually want to talk about something really exciting, something that the player base has been really clamoring for. And we've kind of got a little bit of a, a little bit of a clip saying that we might be getting it, but we actually have a confirmed post here about inventory management. So it says, I assume this post isn't an original take. We are getting a loadout or, or when are we getting loadouts for gear or specs? Basically, they're looking to get some form of inventory management is something that we've been really needed in New World. There's a lot of different sets and gear that you need to have for New World, and it can be an extreme pain to actually manage it. I'd like to have either a system similar to like ESO where you can just click a button and load your, your stuff up. You can even go to where, put it on a mannequin in your house, which would be great. You just go over to it, hit E on the mannequin and it puts everything on and everything that you have on maybe just goes into your inventory or what else. Or you can go over to a mannequin and hit E. It's an empty one and you can take everything that's on you and put it on the mannequin, which would be really cool. So we have a dev response and it says, I can't tell you how other players are managing this, but yes, it is mentioned in a previous developer video, the inventory management was being worked on. The little, the little part there where it says they mentioned it, they actually didn't specifically say inventory management. It was a three part, I believe thing where they said it, or maybe they just said it in, in uh, one of the dev blogs, they said 
we are working on it but we are getting some form of inventory management some form of loadouts something that we can actually like uh, just do something with our gear other than slap it into random boxes all right guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video another short one today but i promise you starting tomorrow you will start seeing a more in-depth video and hopefully we are getting brimstone here soon on the ptr all right guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe like always and i'll see you in the next one peace